Hello, Christ and St. Luke's families. Here we are, the 10th Sunday after Pentecost. Still green, still growing with God, still trying to make bigger, better connections with our God. So we're gonna start this morning with our opening acclamation. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. And this morning, I thought we would sing. You got to sing when the Spirit says sing. So are you ready? We're going to sing. We're going to dance. Oh, we're going to sing. We're going to shout. We're going to dance. And we're going to pray. All right, here we go. Deep breath. If you're sitting down, you probably should stand up. You got to sing when the Spirit says sing. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. When the Spirit says sing, you gotta sing right along. You gotta sing when the Spirit says sing. You gotta shout when the Spirit says shout. You gotta shout when the Spirit says shout. When the Spirit says shout, you gotta shout right along. You gotta shout when the Spirit says shout. You gotta dance when the Spirit says dance. You gotta dance when the Spirit says dance. When the Spirit says dance, you gotta dance right along. You gotta dance when the Spirit says dance. You gotta pray when the Spirit says pray. You gotta pray when the Spirit says pray. When the Spirit says pray, you gotta pray right along. You gotta pray when the Spirit says pray. Friends, will you pray with me? Almighty God, you know everything about us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may love you, know you, and praise you. Amen. Now, for our story for today. We're getting more of Jesus telling us what's going on. You know, like last week he said, you know, don't worry. God's making the kingdom ready for you. All you have to do is make sure your heart's ready. Easy peasy, right? Mm. So here we go, friends. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Jesus said, I have come to set the world on fire, and I wish it were ready to be ignited. I am so ready to begin this new thing God is doing. It is hard for me to hold back. Don't think I've come to make your life easy and peaceful. I'm here to shake things up instead. Things will get ugly before they get better. Families will be divided because they cannot agree on me or how to act or how to worship God. You know how you look to the sky to see what the weather might be like tomorrow? Why don't you look around and see what is happening around you here on earth too and figure out what tomorrow will bring? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, 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 thanks be to God. Whoa, Jesus tells us right there this morning, right? It's not going to be easy. He's not here to make things simple. He's here to do a new thing. I'm wondering if you're doing any new things in your life right now. And I wonder if it's hard to do. If you think about it, and I often do because I feel like there's always something new happening in my life. But like for you, I'm wondering if you're getting worried about going back to school. Maybe some of you have already gone back to school. Maybe you have met a new friend at summer camp this summer. And you are wondering how you're going to continue to be their friend when they live someplace else. I'm wondering if you are ready for God to do something new in your life. And what might that be? I think it's funny that Jesus says, I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. 
I want to light the world on, world on fire. And that makes me think about Katy Perry, right? You all know Katy Perry and Firecracker. Go look that up. But that's what her song is about. It's about being who you are, being in the moment, and lighting the word, world on fire. And that made me think about fire, right? Fire seems like a really easy thing to do. Especially for us now. We can get a lighter and click it and poof, we have fire. When you are here in person for Children's Chapel and we are out here in the garden, you know that that's not quite as easy as it sounds because sometimes it's really hard to light our candles or get the lighter to stay lit. Making fire and getting it going and getting it started so that it just burns and you have a great big bonfire is hard. I brought some sticks that I found in the garden and I've been, I worked at a summer camp for many, many years and I love, I love camp and I love building fires out of sticks. But here's what I learned. I learned that these kind of sticks, we call this pencil wood, because it's about the size of a pencil, are important but not the first thing you need for getting your fire started. Those really big logs, those aren't what you need to get your fire started and getting going so that it just burns and you can roast marshmallows. You actually need, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, lots of little, little sticks like this. This is called kindling. It's very, very small. It's easy to break up. And what you need is a really big stack of this. And that's what gets your fire started. Just little pieces of sticks. Think about that for a second. Is there something big you wanna do? Is there something that you think you can't do because it's just too big and you're not gonna have enough energy to get it going? Start little friends. Start with the kindling, the little piles of sticks. Build your pile of little sticks. When you get them burning, add some of your bigger sticks. Until finally, your fire is blazing and ready to roast marshmallows. You can do that in your life too, my friends. This is what Jesus is saying. It's hard to do, he wants to do it, but he needs some more kindling. He needs some more people like us who love God and want to tell the rest of the world about how much God loves us. But we can start little. We can start with telling our new friend that we love them and we care about them. We can start little by helping our moms and dads with things around the house. And eventually we will have this huge, blazing fire of love and that my friends is how you and I are going to change the world I believe prayer friends I believe in God above I believe in Jesus' love I believe the spirit too comes to show me what to do I believe that I can be kind and loving Lord like thee. Amen. Five finger prayers, my friends. Starting with on our thumb with people close to us. Deep breath. Praying for people close to us. God of love. Hear our prayer. 
pointer finger, praying for the church. <gasps> this week, I heard Miss Marge playing the organ in church. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to have all my friends with me and be in church and hear Miss Marge play. Let's pray for the church. God of love, hear our prayer. Tallest finger, praying for the world, my friends. Deep breath and let's pray for the world. God of love, hear our prayer. Ring finger, praying for those who are sick. God of love, hear our prayer. Pinky finger, right? Prayer for ourselves. Maybe today you want to ask God to help you get the fire going so you can tell other people about God's love. God is always ready to help us with those things, always. Praying for ourselves, friends. God of love, hear our prayer. And last one, you can still do it on your pinky or you can do it on your big toe, the I'm sorry prayer. Things that have been difficult for us, choices that we made that weren't so good. I don't know about you friends, that happens to me a lot. Telling God about that and asking God to help us just do better. I'm sorry, prayer friends. God of love, hear our prayer. And for our last song, I thought we would do this little light of mine. Are you ready? You might need to stand up. Deep breath. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let anyone it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let anyone it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let anyone it out. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. So my friends, when you turn this video off, get ready to go out there and let your light shine and start by going and hugging everybody in your house and telling them that you love them. So my friends, until next time, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.